Namo Namaha Shishyas Suswagatam. This is a revision session for refreshing our minds and also a update that we will not be hosting a physical session until further notice. I will email us. However, we are fresh whenever we do meet up again and also for a little bit of motivation. And let's go through some exercises together so that we refresh our session one and session two so that we're all up to date. Let's start with the verses on ornaments. Hastasya bhushanam danam satyam kantasya bhushanam Shrotrasya bhushanam shastram bhushanaih kim prayojanam Okay, next is points of revision for lesson one and two. So we'll put this on the board and let's go through number three here. So we have short and long. So whenever I say long in class, then automatically what comes to mind is a line on top. But in the cases of diphthongs, that means the complex, the a, i, o, au, then all of them are considered long. In the simple vowel, the longs are the ones with a line on top. And what is that line called? It starts with D. Diacritic. So, what are these signs called? Dot underneath the R, long line on top, diacritics. Let's now do a revision of how to pronounce each letter together. A. Ah. A. Ah. E, E, U, U, R, R. Now you want to make it a little bit stronger, like Krishna. Now a little bit more polished, Krishna. Try that, Krishna, until it sounds right. Krishna, R, R. Try the long, if it find it hard, then try the longer R's. R, R, R. Very strong. Rr, rr, rr. And then soften it down so there's no dragging. Rr, 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 rr. And then the long is rr. So there's a flattening out. So rr. It's not rr. So it's rr. However, very rarely will we encounter the long rr. So not much to be concerned. And same with the l. So very rarely will we see the L. E, I, O, AU. Now remember the E and O will not be that exaggerated in real life scenario. We're not going to say EVA. We'll say EVA. So it's a very subtle long E, long O, RAMO. It's going to be ramo, ramo, ramo. Very subtle. Okay, what are the five articulation points? List them out, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Next is I'm going to pronounce the consonants and you need to hear and tell me which one is it aspirated, unaspirated, velar or unvelar? K. K. What is that? K. K. No puff of air. Therefore, unaspirated. K. 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 Throat is not functioning. What's well, functioning, but there's no vibration. K. Therefore, it is unaspirated and unvoiced. Ka. Ka. 
definitely puff of air, so therefore it is aspirated. K, K, no vibration, unvoiced. B, 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 B. How do you know? You just repeat. B, B, B. It's compare K and B. K, 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 K. And now go B, B, B. Now notice the difference in the throat vibration. K, 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 B, B. Now if there's a vibration, it is always going to be voiced. Okay? M, M. Say M. M. Notice where the the function in the nasal. M, M. Therefore, it is nasal. Now, put the, the hand on the throat and say M, M. And go M. Is the throat vibrating? M. Yes. Therefore, it is voiced and it's a nasal. D, D, D. Is that retroflex or is that dental? D, D. Okay, if you said retroflex, correct. Aspirated or aspirated? D. Why is it aspirated? D. That's why. D. Is it voiced or unvoiced? D. Why is it voiced? Because the throat is vibrating. D. 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 Voiced or unvoiced? D. Unvoiced. Is that a retroflex or a dental? Why is it a retroflex? How about t, t, t. Is that dental or retroflex? T. Okay. That was a dental. Why is it a dental? T, t, t. Because you can see the tongue, that's why, sticking in front. What about p, p, p? Aspirated, unvoiced. P. Throat is still as water. J, 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 J. Aspirated or aspirated? J, J, unaspirated? J, J, voiced. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go faster. D, D. Retroflex. Which one? T T H. Retroflex. G G G. Voiced. Aspirated. D, D, D. And why is this important to identify aspiration, unaspiration, voiced or unvoiced? Because when we start sandhi, then, for example, all voiced consonants plus aha will be all voiced consonants. What comes to mind now? When I say all voiced consonants, b, b, g, g, j, j. Okay, this means when I say all voiced consonants, instead of going back to the table in lesson two, automatically you can do it through your own experience and see which one is voiced. Next, let's revise the sounds. Okay, we'll put this back up. Repeat. K. K. G. G. N. 
ch ch j j n t t d d n t th d dh n p p b b m next what is the root of gachati the root gum now how do you put what's root how do you write root remember nike just do it the little tick gum gachati this means when you understand the word then also with it we need to know the root why because later in sessions we will need to understand how to form gerunds and how to do some other works with the words which will involve knowing the root therefore if we don't know the root then it will become much harder later on so when i say gachati you always in the mind say gum gachati what's the root of prachati prach prach prachati gum gachati root of vasati was vasati root of bhavati bhu bhu bhavati smarati root please smr smarati What's the root of gachati? Prachati? Smarati? Bhavati? Vasati? Next test. Let's see how much we remember. What is the formula for single? Ami siti backwards tc army okay second person what comes to mind gacha si first person gacha mi third person gacha ti first person what is bhavati which one which first second or third bhavasi wasami bhavami smarasi prachati vasati vasami bhavami gachasi prachati smarasi okay and also now what do they mean when i say now you need to say in english what is this when i say gachati you say third person he goes if i say bhawami first person i am wasasi second person you live okay so here we go gachami first start with which person gachami so you go like this if i say gachami you go first person i go if i say bhavasi you go second person you are okay so here we go wasasi bhavati prachami prachati smarasi smarati 
smarami, wasami, prachami, kachami, prachami, kachati, bhavasi, wasasi, prachasi, prachati, prachami, prachasi, prachati. Okay, let's move on to the second. Duo. So what's the duo formula? Let's do the gachati. Gachawaha, gachataha, gachataha. Again, remember the difference. Gachataha, which is taha. Taha, is that aspirated? Taha, yes, because puff of air. And taha, which is unaspirated. So what's the formula for duo? Awaha, taha, taha. Backwards, taha, taha, awaha. Again from the beginning, awaha, taha, taha. Taha, taha, awaha. Awaha, taha, taha. Taha, taha, awaha. Awaha, taha, taha. Taha, taha, awaha. Awaha. Kutra gachati, what did I just say? Kutra gachati, okay, break it down. In Sanskrit, to have an easy time with this, always break it word by word. Kutra, the mind goes where? Gachati, okay, gachati goes. T, he goes, so where he goes, okay? So, kutra gachati, where he goes, where she goes where it goes. Okay. Kutra gachati. What did I just say? Kutra gachati. Kutra gachasi. Kutra gachami. Where am I going? Okay. Now, I will say a question. I will ask you a question. I will say kutra gachasi. What did I just say? Kutra gachasi. Where are you going? And you will say, I am going to one of those nouns. Actually, before we do this, we'll first do the noun. Etat kim tat pushpam. Etat kim tat wastram. Etat kim tat palam. Etat kim Tat jalam. Etat kim tat dugdham. Etat kim tat parnam. Parnam, that's a retroflex. Parnam. Etat kim tat pustakam. Etat kim tat u. Upan, upanetram etat kim tat vatayanam etat kim what does etat mean? this kim what? what is this? tat that dura darshanam television okay etat kim <laughs> tat kushalam asti okay Etat kim tat shudham ashudham. Okay. Now let's get back on our exercises. Knowing these words, if I say kutra gachasi, that means I just asked you, where are you going? How would you say I'm going to the television? Okay, what is television? Dura darshanam, I go. Gachami. Therefore, Dura Darshanam Gachami. Kutra Gachasi. Vatayanam Gachami. Kutra Gachasi. Kutra Gachasi. I go to the book. 
ако тръгайте си. Окей, okay, what is Dura Darshanam Gachami? Translate into English. Parnam Gachami. I go to the leaf. Jalam Gachami. Translate. I go to the water. Dugdham Gachami. I go to the milk. Now, choose one of these words that we haven't mentioned. Kutra Gachasi. Palam Gachami. Vastram Gachami. Pushpam Gachami. Okay. So if I say Kutra Vasasi, where you live. However, that's an informal way. You can also say a formal way, which is a lot more common. I would say Kutra Vasati. So Kutra Vasati, formal. Kutra Vasasi, informal. However, just to keep it clear, I will say Kutra Vasasi. That means where you live. And then you say, is it one of these words, please? Kutra wasasi pushpam wasami. I live flower. That's actually incorrect because now we have to say at the flower. Um, that's now a new case that we will learn later. But just say one of these words and then say wasami. Kutra wasasi, where do you live? Watayanam wasami. Kutra wasasi. Give me one of these words. I live at the fruit. I live at the water. Jalam wasami. I live at the milk. Translate. I live at the leaf. Parnam wasami. I live at the book. Pustakam wasami. Now, Kim, what does Kim mean? What? So if I say Kim Bhavasi, what are you? We haven't learned the word for human, so we have to stick with the nouns here. You have to just pretend like you're a book. Kim Bhavasi, what are you? You say, Pustakam Bhavami. I am a book. Some of us would like to be a book, wouldn't we? Kim Bhavasi. I am a leaf. Parnam Bhavami. Kim Bhavasi. Dugdham Bhavami. I can also say, Kim Bhavati Jalam Bhavami. Now, how would you know if I'm saying Kim Bhavati, that means what is he? But I also said that you can say Kim Bhavati, as in what are you? Because the context will tell. If I'm speaking to you in the conversation, and I'm, it's going to be obvious if I'm asking you a question, or, what are you? Then you will say, uh, Palam Bhavami. Kim Bhavati? Vastram Bhavami. Kim Bhavati? Pushpam Bhavami. Kim Bhavasi? Pushpam Bhavami. Kim Bhavasi? Dukham Bhavami. Kim Bhavati? Kim Smarati or Kim Smarasi. I'm speaking to you, therefore, T or C will both apply to you. Kim Smarasi, that means what do you remember? And you can say, how would you say I remember a leaf? A leaf, number one, Parnam Smarami. Kim Smarasi, Upanetram. Smarami, I remember the spectacles. Kim smarati? Vatayanam smarami. 
kim smarati? Dura darshanam smarami. Kim smarasi? What do you remember? Kim prachasi? What do you ask? I ask. Kim prachasi? Pushpam prachami. Kim prachasi? What do you ask? Palam prachami. What is a visarga? H with a dot underneath. What does a visarga do? What is the function? It echoes what? The consonant or the vowel? The vowel. So, if I have U visarga, what does that sound like? Uhu. I visarga? Ihi. This is lesson three. I just want to prepare us generally new consonants to pronounce. Ya, ra. Ya, ra. L, la, 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 as in law. La, la, la. Now, the victory, incorrect. Victory, victor, incorrect. Victory, correct. Victor, better. Now, some people over exaggerate and go, Wa. Okay, so it's not like Wabbit. So it's victory, 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 victor, 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 victor. Victor, 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 Victory, 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 Victor, 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 Sh, very common in English, like a shoe. Here it says shine. So repeat shine, shine, sh, shine. Now here's a retroflex, tip of the tongue, top of the mouth. Sh, sh, practice this strongly. Sh, sh, just be conscious of where the tongue is. Sh, 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 sh. It's actually not completely up, it's a little bit forward. Sh, because in a conversation it's not gonna be all the way up, otherwise it's gonna be very inefficient to speak like that. So it is more like that. Sh, sh. Sh. Now notice the difference. Sh. 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 Hear the difference. Sh. 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 So the the first one is a little bit sharper. Sh. 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 This one's a little bit more like blunt, like a little bit more like. Blurred. Sh, 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 sh. And then s, 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 like, well, sweet. S, 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 sweet. So let's do it together. Sh, sh, s, s, sh, sh. I want us to go to the answer section of the book and translate that into either Sanskritam or into English. The usual way is to go through the exercise and then do the and then get the answers. But now I want you to go to the answers and then translate that back into its alternative form. Let's do this together. You ask. So, Prachesi. She asks. Prachati, and I ask. Prachami, cha. So, prachasi, prachati, prachami, cha. I go, I go, gachami. 
Television, Dura Darshanam. I go to the television, Dura Darshanam Gachami. So let's do C. I go, Gachami. You go, Gachasi. She asks, Prachati. She asks the book. Pustakam prachati. Now, I go and you go. Gachami gachasi cha. I go, you go, and she asks. Gachami gachasi prachati cha. I go, you go, and she asks the book. Gachami gachasi. Pustakam prachati cha. Flour, water, and milk, please. Pushpam jalam dugdham cha kripaya. How do you say window, fruit? And television, please. Window, fruit, and television, please. Window, vatayanam, fruit, palam, and television, dura darshanam, cha, kripaya. Okay? I go to the book and window. Okay, break it down. I go. Gachami. I go to the book. Pustakam gachami. How about just book and window? Book and window. Pustakam vatayanam cha. Now, I go to the book and window. Pustakam vatayanam cha gachami. You ask the garment. You ask. Purchase. Garment. Vastram. Vastram. Purchase. Which means. You ask. The vastram. You ask the garment. And he goes to the fruit. He goes. Gachati. He goes to the fruit. Palam. Gachati. So, you ask the garment, Vastram Prachasi Palam Gachati Cha. Okay, again. Vastram Prachasi Palam Gachati Cha. Okay, G. You go to the spectacles. You go. Gachasi. You go to the spectacles. Upanetram gachasi. And I ask the leaf. I ask prachami. The leaf parnam. Parnam prachami. I ask the leaf. Now? You go to the spectacles. Upanetram gachasi parnam prachami cha. What's this? Translate. Parnam upanetram cha. Parnam li leaf upanetram cha. Leaf and Spectacles. Vastram jalam cha. Vastram jalam cha. And okay. Palam pushpam. Palam pushpam cha. Fruit and flower. Now, for those who do know the Devanagari script, 
then I will assume you will say Punar Milamaha and good night or good day, goodbye. <laughs> For the rest of us, we will now practice together writing out the the lesson one, lesson two, and lesson three, we will also write out. So let's start with. So get a piece of paper, please pause the video. Ah. Follow the stroke order, please. Do that ten times. Alternative. Ten times. Okay, and notice the spaces, it's not touching the bottom line, so it's hanging on the top line. Now, ah. It may be a little bit different in the book. I'm just going by memory. Alternative is. Ten times. Then we have E. Ten times. E. Ten times. Okay. O. Line down and then like this. And then, yep, that's it. And then line on top. Okay, so that's the correct order. Mm -hmm. Ten times. Err. Again. And then they have, okay, it goes like that. So it goes a little bit past the E, the e it goes a little bit past the line on the, the long, the stem. And then we have L. Okay, like that. Hmm, doesn't look very pretty. Let's do it again. Ah, now we're talking love. Ta da Okay. This one's very rare. It does not mean don't write it 10 times. And then this one, and then roof last. Okay, and then I, same principle. Ta da So, this has to be recognized. Or they have okay, we'll do two forms. Ta da pimple face with hairs and then extra support with a hook. Yeah, that's how they have. Goodie. This one is actually I'll do the alternative style, but you may think that the alternative style may be more popular. It turns out they're 50-50, so they have to be both recognized. Same with the A ah and A. Ah. Both of them have to be recognized. There's no one is more superior than the other. And then, ow. Two hairs. They're yet to go to a trimmer, a barber. I say Baba. You know the <coughs> we have ka. We go like this. And this is a eight 
that is incomplete. Its life is incomplete, so it's falling down on the ground. Some kind of a memory, mnemonic. So I have not stopped the stroke. It was a one off. And then the roof last. Okay? Ka. Then ka. Okay, this one will go like this, like lightning or electricity. And and then like that. Okay. Roof last. Again, like electricity. And then just like a circle, but not a circle, more like an ellipse. And then a roof on top. Okay, so 10 times both. Then G. They have number one, two. Oh. Yep. First like this, then like that, and then roof goes last. Okay, again. So the hook will end. Yeah, you saw that, I hope. Um, the hook will end halfway between these two lines. And then the second one will go, you know, past it down. And then, roof. Okay, G. And then, G. So we have here, first they say, okay, go like this. And then, go like that. So, like a three. And then, yeah, so it's all one stroke. There's no lifting hand. And then the roof last. Okay, again, slow motion. Yep, and then roof like that. Okay, and then no. And then a nice, lovely circle, ordinary, plain old circle. Ta da! Again. Zoom. Dun -dun. Dun. Okay. So the way to remember this is there's a circle there and there's also a circle here. You gotta put the circle somewhere, right? So I guess it just fell to the right. Now we have ch. Okay, I'll go slow motion. Okay, remember, always left to right. And then, ch, ch, aspiration, ch, unvoiced. Okay, we'll analyze that. So we will draw again like a number three. And then we will close the circle and it's going to be in the same, it's all in the same height. Okay, obviously we're not going to put this line. And then there's a line goes up, roof left to right. Again, close the circle. Now see, of course, this is what I mean. You're not gonna say which one should I go? Should I go top to bottom, or should I go bottom to top? Give me a break. <laughs> Whichever suits you. So and then roof last. 
Okay, and then j. J. And this will be like a pot. Often it's written like this in some fonts. That's why I said a pot. But here it's more proper, it's slanted. And then j. Yeah, and then two, and then three. Yeah, okay, and then four. So there is a little bit of an H there. Looks like an H, and maybe a, like a cobra on the first. So let's analyze that again. Cobra, and uh, that's twisted, and then uh, stem the line down and then now notice how it's not complete it's not like parallel to each other there is a angle okay and then a roof last in fact the roof doesn't exactly touch the cobra so it's similar to when you say ah right so it's it's the same idea now, how do you join these two letters together? Well, the roof will go last. If you have, what is this? What is this? J. And this? A. Ah. So how do you join them together? The roof goes last. Why did I not put the complete over? Because the A ah does not have a roof over itself. However, if we have done this, if we have written the alternative version, then we would go like that. Yeah? So that's the idea. And then, na. Imagine. a ball facing towards the or well, my left so if you write it towards your left and then line towards the stem and then stem roof last okay now in the proper way it would be more like that the difference is this one's pointing completely towards the left from my angle but this one's actually pointing up, so that's the difference. So this is the correct one. This is actually only to demonstrate, but it's wrong. So again, how do we write N? So whenever you see N, where do you go? In your memory, this comes to mind. Okay, let's connect some letters. We have U and O. Okay, U, O, we can now choose which style, I'm going to choose this one. And then what goes last? The roof. Let's do, and then along R, and then R. Okay, first A, ah, and then R, and then roof last. Okay, so this means when you read this, I go R, R. Okay, so. And then you can add another letter, for example, which one is that? E. Obviously the roof would then go last. And then you go, Ari. 
Okay? And this concludes our revision session. We will keep in touch through email. For now, punar milamaha, dhanya vadaha. Be safe.